Welcome to the Supermicro Green series on the top 10 best practices for creating and implementing a green data center. Supermicro is known as an industry leader in green computing and offers a wide range of energy efficient servers. Globally, data centers use between 1% and 3% of energy today. And this is expected to increase significantly over the next few years. In addition to saving energy, E-waste can be reduced with the proper planning and execution when looking at new servers. There are a number of actions that IT administrators and data center operators can take to reduce their energy consumption. I am Michael Schulman and I will be your host today. Today we are going to talk about how using state-of-the-art software plays into green computing. I'm here with Robert Novak, who is our manager of software product management here at Supermicro. Welcome, Robert. Thank you, Michael. Good to be here. Okay, well, software isn't the first thing that customers think about with green computing. Can you kind of tell us how that works together? Sure. So aside from not shipping out boxes of documentation and software media, which we did away with about the turn of the century, it is a little bit hard at first to see where software plays into green computing. But starting from the simple thing of not having to send people to the data center every day or every time something fails, being able to turn down unneeded hardware and manage failed or underperforming hardware remotely and promptly, monitoring and managing your power usage at the server level and rack level and beyond, as well as tying into infrastructure monitoring that enables you to use your existing platforms and our unique features to track green computing functionality. So how does Supermicro fit into the green journey of a customer? What do they have to, what does a customer have to think about and Supermicro software to become a more green data center? That's a really good question. One of the things that we do really well and we keep improving every week, I hear about it every week when we're having our meetings, is integrating the latest technology from the hardware side of the business. Whether it's our power management at the power supply level, some partner features around processor and network hardware, power utilization and optimization, or the newest liquid cooling functionality that we have in some of our state-of-the-art high-performance computing environments. We're tying that into our software, including Supermicro Server Manager and SuperCloud Composer, to make it easy for system operators, managers, and NOx to monitor, manage, and maintain all of those elements from one management frame with total visibility into the entire data center. So what should our viewers um, know about the Supermicro software management systems that we offer today? The key thing about them and the, the obvious thing I would say is that they are the best option for monitoring and managing anything that comes from Supermicro. That seems really obvious, but it's something that a lot of our customers ask about. And we do put most of our focus in development and optimization into the hardware that comes out of our campuses. However, we go beyond that in ways that a lot of our customers may not know about. We tie into third-party server vendors through industry standard Redfish APIs. We monitor, manage, and provide lifecycle management, firmware updates, software management for some of the leading switching vendors. In addition to Supermicro switching, we have a number of our neighbors here in Silicon Valley whose switches we can integrate into our software management. And again, bringing it back to that single management frame, monitoring power utilization through managed PDUs, and keeping the security of the systems at an optimal level as well. And we also work with a number of state-of-the-art, even leading-edge, bleeding-edge technology partners around disaggregated infrastructure, centralized compute, GPU, storage, and other technology functions that integrate into our servers, our networks. And once again, they come back to that one management frame, either in Supermicro Server Manager for some of it, or Super Cloud Composer for pretty much all of it. So with our software, uh, customers can reduce their power usage by monitoring and maybe turning off servers that aren't being used, mm -hmm. uh, moving uh, applications around as needed, right? Right. And a lot of it is also at a lower level because the processor makers are building in power optimization and power capping, which we can monitor and control from our software. So if you have a server that you need to keep up and running for some reason, you can't move the workloads over to another server or virtualization environment but you want to optimize the power utilization, you can use those technology partner technologies 
to reduce the power, reduce the cores, use some of the core versus bandwidth balancing, and all of that can be monitored and managed through Super Cloud Composer. Okay, so kind of in the big picture, it's not just about the latest hardware, but you need software to help you reduce your power usage and reduce the whole overall data center power usage, right? Right. You could do it without the software if you have an unlimited number of system administrators who can go log into every machine and look at it or pull logs and analyze them in expensive log management platforms. But we really make it easy for operations teams to make the most of their people and their time and let them focus on things that are more productive for building and growing their businesses rather than chasing around failed processors or underperforming software or things like that. Well, great, Robert. Well, thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Have a great day. Supermicro recently published a white paper based on a survey of over 400 IT professionals. This white paper discusses 10 actions that they are taking to reduce their environmental impact of their data centers. You can download the white paper from our Green Computing website, which we will mention at the end of this webinar. Data centers have a significant impact on the environment. It is estimated that 400 terawatt hours of electricity are used annually. An estimated 2 plus million tons of e-waste are generated by data centers worldwide each year. Although renewable energy is gaining momentum in many areas of the world, there are still some geographies where 80% of electricity is generated from fossil fuels. And we estimate that up to 8 billion trees would not have to be planted each year for a carbon offset if data centers worldwide would adopt some of these green computing best practices. To learn more about Supermicro's green computing solutions, please visit www.supermicro.com greencomputing. Thank you.